Today, I'm the North American Journeyman. We've only been in charge for three days at Alohulenzi, and we already have the Supercopa final against our rivals, Saprisa. So we could potentially win silverware in our first ever game. Here it is July 13th. We got hired on July 10th. And the day after this friendly. So no time to schedule any friendlies. We haven't we've had time to hire staff. I hired up a full staff and look how good they are. One more is coming in, performance analyst, I think. We also picked up uh Brian Ruiz, who was here as a under 23 coach, head coach, I think. And then he left somewhere else to be another youth coach. In real life, Brian Ruiz, club legend Brian Ruiz, if you watched my last episode, um, he's the assistant coach there. And he's really good. Better than our current assistant coach. That's the head of youth development. This Jose Osario guy, he's all right. I might just ax this guy and give Brian Ruiz the job. Because look how good he is. He's Brian Ruiz. Like, yeah, he was under 18 coach here. He went to Municipal in Guatemala. But so we hired up some staff, organized the system, got things ready to go, took a look at the youth teams. There's some, there's some decent young players in this team. But I'm going to introduce you to the team today. We're just playing the one game, so I'm going to give you the full rundown. Here we are, we're playing this system, pretty basic, 4-3-3, two fairly attacking midfielders. And we're, let's just start from the top, I guess. We got some young Costa Ricans, 20-year-olds, like three of them that are really good, and a couple 16-year-olds who are probably going to crack the first team here pretty soon. But we'll start up top with Marlon Salazar, 20 years old. He's pretty good. Really good mentals. Decent enough physicals. Technicals are the part that's lacking in his game probably the most. But that's okay. He's young. He's consistent. He's going to be pretty good. He's left-footed. Getting rid of this trait. Running with the ball down the left. We don't need it. He's solid. On the right wing, another youngster. Federico Murillo. Good right winger, good all-rounder. Maybe not the best goal scoring type, but good crossing. He's only 20 as well. He's decent. Montenegro's been here for a while. On the left wing, inside forward. Is what we're playing him as, because he's got pretty good dribbling. He's decent. I'd say our wingers probably is the position we're looking to strengthen most. Um Juarez, or excuse me, Suarez. In the midfield, he's been here pretty much his entire career. I probably watched this guy. I don't recognize, I don't remember seeing him. Maybe I do, Aaron Suarez. But he's pretty good midfield. He could play up top if we needed to, which we might end up playing him kind of in one of the winger positions. He's right-footed. He's decent. Uh, we got Cruz as a ball-winning midfielder. This guy is not great. He's young. He's a 20-year-old. He's okay. We have a 16-year-old who's on the bench, David Yara, who's probably better than him. So I promoted this guy to the first team. He looks really well-rounded. A bit of a beast. More offensive as well. So he's good. Um, Neves, we actually bought. We actually spent money off for this guy. Because I was looking at just the Liga Promerica season preview. And it says Suarez and this guy Toch, who I'll show you in a second, who's an American, 20 years old. But there was also another midfielder who was from Escorpiones. And that's this guy that we decided to buy, Neves. Mozambican, 21 years old. We paid out for his minimum fee release clause, which was like 225000 But look at him. 
17 stamina, 16 technique, 16 determination. He's got a couple little issues in his game. Likes to play Mazzola, but can't finish. Good off the ball, though. Likes to pass rather than score. He's two-footed. I mean, he's awesome. And then Toch, who is with the Americans for the Olympics. Derek Toch. This guy's a monster. He's been here forever, so we could potentially make him 900 days left to be Costa Rican. So we could try and make him Costa Rican, potentially. We're limited to, it says in this match, four foreign players. We're limited to register five foreign players in the league. So bringing in this Helton Neves is another foreign player. We've got a couple foreign center backs, Mexican, 30-year-old, really well-rounded, though, good player. And Fernando Alvarez, who's another really good, especially aerially. Can't really head very well, but 24 years old, American, Mexican, second nationality. Mentalities, though, his determination's low, so we might look to maybe offload one of those guys if we can really find a good center back ringer. Carlos Martinez, right back. This guy's awesome. 29, so he's about as good as he's ever going to be. So we got another good three years. Four max years of this guy. His natural fitness is only eight, so probably three years max of him being a beast with that attacking ability on the right wing. And left back Perez. He's okay. 29 years old. He's got the Costa Rican second nationality, though, so that helps. So the back four is pretty well solid. The goalkeeper's okay. This Colombian, though, he's picking up a foreign slot, which I don't like. Well-rounded. He's out of contract, so he's just on like a month-to-month -month contract. And we actually have a really good youngster. We've got this Miguel Aju, or Ayu, Costa Rican, who's got two caps. He's okay. But we have Dennis Solis, who looks like a pretty good young goalkeeper. So he's definitely in a fight for game time between him and Rodriguez. And then we're probably just going to end up going with Solis long-term and eventually anyways, because he's Costa Rican. So that's pretty much the team. I showed you Yara, the youngster on the bench. There's nothing really too significant to look at. A couple good guys. Contreras up top is pretty good. He's got 41 caps for Costa Rica, but I like Salazar. And then Mora, who's got nine caps as well. He's pretty good. But that is the team. We're looking at a couple other ones, maybe bringing them in. Look how much money we have. I don't want to just blow it all, and I want to spend it on well-placed Costa Ricans. But we're straight into trying to win silverware against our rival, Saprisa. By the way, in this save, Alo Holenzi has been dominant. Look at all those. Closing phase, opening phase. I mean, especially recently. So with the board, they want us to be competitive in the Champions Cup. Challenge for the Central American Cup. Not, it's only favored. But we have to win, required that we win the opening stage. work within the payroll budget, so we'll make sure to do everything just in case, because, I mean, it's not a foregone conclusion. Like, we got to finish top four to make the playoffs, then two-legged semifinal, then two-legged final, and we're not even the best team in the league, technically. So, we'll see how we match up against Saprisa today. They got the best goalkeeper. They got back... I'm looking at this left back. I had a chance to bring this guy in, at TLH Rangers in Trinidad. He was at Arsenal. He wanted a boatload of money, though, eventually decided not to come here. He's... I think maybe he wants to leave. He might even have a release clause. We're scouting him. Quesada Thorn. He's a beast. We're looking at him for sure. But I think it's time that we go ahead and get underway and see what the boys can do against Saprisa. They play a 4-4-2. They look pretty familiar with each other as well. We're working on our tactical familiarity. Neves isn't super fit, 
But the American is out in the Olympics, so I don't really have another guy to bring in. Some numbers for some players. Apparently Murillo hasn't played really for us. The Mozambican one gets number 22. Yael Lopez is the... Oh yeah, he's kind of a backup right back. And Mora. He's been here forever. I don't know why he doesn't have a number, but I think he was like in the youth team for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, we got the kits. I found a kit pack from like 2020. So you can see we're in the away kits today. Go out there, play for the fans. The team doesn't like me. The dynamics, which isn't good. I think we already did this. All right. Boom. Oh, we're playing in the National Stadium. So it's packed out. They're playing a couple of youngsters up top. I recognize Chirinos. He plays for the national team. Obviously, Quesada Thorne. Chamorro. He's kind of the backup currently to Kaylor Navas. But let's make it happen. I got to change the numbers on these kits so you can actually see them. Are we on extended? Yeah, it's just one game. We'll go extended. It's the Super Copa. Against our rivals. We finally made it to Costa Rica. We're finally with Alahu Lindsay. Playing in the Nationals Team Stadium. A little early highlight here. Ooh, a sliding challenge comes in. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the content coming in. Good take from Rodriguez. Clinging on to his goalkeeper spot. He's got to impress her as soon as he does it. You know, he's out. They're pressing us up pretty high, though. As long as we can build out of the back here pretty well. That's good for Martinez. Who's that attacking right back? Mario just drives it in, takes it on his own. All right, not bad. Had more time with it than he probably thought. Quesada Thorne looking to whip one in here. Far post. Rodriguez just watches it to the side netting. I think, I'm thinking of adding some other stuff in too. Outside of the football manager content. But let me know what you think. I'm thinking I might do some breakdowns of some CONCACAF competitions going on. Like the actual Champions Cup. Like reviews of games or... What did Montenegro do? Tight thigh. Okay. Noted. Wow, we have 77% possession. So let's go ahead and go positive. We're throwing people forward in the free kicks. But yeah, the CONCACAF Champions Cup this year is really interesting. I think it's... We're getting into the stages where it's like the MLS clubs against the Mexican teams... See who's who, what's what. The MLS teams can cope with going to Mexico because traditionally they have struggled pretty hard. All right, Cruz up through Suarez. Nice ball to Neves. He's a good passer. The ball. Look at that shot from Salazar. Maybe we want to work it into the box, though. We'll probably change that at halftime. Probably take Montenegro out. Try to go near post. Give a little bit more encouragement here. Yeah, packed stands. Liga versus Saprissa in the national team stadium, the Supercopa. Everybody's excited. The new American manager coming in. Let's see what he can do with the recently dominant Alahu Lenzi. And that both Paul falls to Daniel Gonzalez. And we're down 1-0 to Saprissa. A bit unlucky there. Thought it might have been a penalty here on Gutierrez. Playing two young strikers, so we might need to take a look at these two boys. Why is, yeah, why is Pinuelas coming across there? He does not need to do that. Well, unfortunate. 
And we'll take it to halftime. Down 1-0. It's an even game. Yeah, not happy, not happy, not happy. Okay, what do we want to change here? We're definitely doing all this. Yeah, we are working the ball in the box, so that's fine. Pressing up. Montenegro, I guess, can come out. Yeah, Contreras can play it. And we got Mora as well. Could maybe come in from Rio. Yara's nervous. Suarez isn't playing very good. Neves isn't playing very good. Just push you up. Actually, we'll go complete wing back on attack for you. You can play more supportive. Can't lose our first game in charge. I mean, it's a new system, it's a new coach, it's, you know, it's understandable. Their goal is a bit lucky, but hopefully we can do something here. Turn this thing around. Neves is dead. I mean, we're just not creating anything. Come on, Salazar. Probably go two up top here. See what we can build out of the back. I mean, they are pressing us pretty freaking high. Nevis. Loses it. All right, Suarez holds it in, though, in the midfield. Drives forward down the right wing. What can he do? He's going to go for a cross here, probably. Martinez, pull it back. Neves takes a shot. That's just not what we want you to do at all. All right, we're bringing the youngster Yar in. He's coming in for Neves, and we're going two up top. We're going here. Because I think... That is kind of the problem, though. We're going to actually do it this way. Because you can play ball-winning midfielder. Support. Actually, you're going to play deep-lying playmaker support. Suarez can come in over here. It says he can't do it, but I know that he can. Contreras can play up top. Tricarista? Sure. Sure thing, son. Sure thing. And then Bernal Alfaro is definitely a bowling midfielder. He can anchor even. He's basically a center back without the height. Can make five subs. Martinez, we need you to do something. We can bring Salazar on, youngster. And maybe more in for Maria late. But you want to attack. Yep. Yeah. All right. Come on, guys. It's the Super Copa in the national team stadium, which I walked around a couple times. Can't really see too much of it from the outside, unfortunately. Because there's no elevation really near the stadium. I mean, one shot, one goal for them. One shot, nothing for us. Okay, boys. All right, Suarez is annoying. Dang. Dang, boys, dang. What are we doing here? We don't have any cards, so. Come on. Damn. 
Well, it's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything in this game. Demand more. They're on the attacking corner here. Head her away. They've got numbers still in the box, though. When you tackle, nope. Trinos is just all on his own. He's offside. Very attacking. Might as well just throw everything at it. We're just not doing anything. I mean, come on, guys. Like, we'll even we'll even swap you two around for no good reason. We're just doing everything. I usually don't go crazy like this. But when you only have one shot, like, come on, push up the field, do a little something. No, they've had more chances since we've done this. Okay, unless we can grab one late here at the death, can we get them? Looks like they're gonna counter on us instead. Unless Alfaro can hold it in, he does through Salazar. We play it four. We got numbers. Suarez get the ball up field quick. It's just a yellow free kick. And the dying embers of the game. He lifts it in. Our goalkeeper's forward. And we get to see nothing. Saprisa. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. That's not a good... Come on, why are you dribbling? Mora, can he hold it in? Can he get a ball in? Get it into the box. Come on, there's no time left. Straight at the goalkeeper. Full-time whistle. Supercopa de Costa Rica goes to the purple monster of Saprisa. Damn. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. We had a chance to win silverware in our first game in charge. And instead, Saprisa lifts it in our face. All right. Well, nobody said it'd be easy. Yeah, it was too easy for him. Far too easy for them. They didn't really create anything. We had a lot of possession, but... Hey, what are you going to do? Uh, we got a trialist coming in. Okay, so that is the first game in charge. Hopefully, I don't think they were even judging that competition. Yeah, be competitive. They weren't judging it. It's not important. But we need to perform well. So we got the Central America Cup. We got our group here. Municipal, Plaza Amador. Santa Tecla from looks like El Salvador. And this team, Lobos from Honduras. So... Yeah, you play four games, you got to finish top two, and you're into the quarterfinals. See, Saprisa has actually won this the last two times, and then we won in 2025. But it's this is how Central America is. Saprisa and Alajuelense, the two top dogs. Can we be the team to continue the dominance? At least in Liga Pro America. But we want to win that Central American Cup as well. And we want to not get fired here. So not the greatest start, but we got some good players coming in. Hopefully we'll kick on here. We'll probably come back in maybe somewhere. This is weird too, by the way, that it just says quarterfinal. I think this is actually like the cup because in the previous season, yeah, they have like this quarterfinal, semifinal, and like already on a one. And then they went on to play final. But I'm pretty sure that's just, yeah, like preliminary round, round of 16. I think that's just the cup. 
which is this, which doesn't have a name or something like that. So more weird database stuff going on. But anyways, 0 for 1, 0 goals scored in Alahua Lindsay. But we're going to turn this thing into, into a dynasty. We're going to cruise here. We're going to crush it. We're going to win the Central American Cup. We're going to win the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Guaranteed. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time back at La Liga. Adios, muchachos.